moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. Warm welcome to the Moving to Oneness show. I'm your host, Mylene, going solo today, sitting here in Germany after I've been outdoors in the crispiness of a fall day, luckily with the sun shining, in a way as a restart, as a rekindling. Because if we do come inside, we like it now a little bit warm. Maybe you have a fireplace and uh, you will light it and sit in front of it and soak in the warmth, which supports you in feeling very relaxed and comfortable and brings you into a reflective state. Or maybe you have been walking outside through the woods or through the meadows along the ocean front or stroll through the city where you prompted, or were prompted, I should say, by the questions that are in everyone's, in everyone's head, body, soul. It's really on our planet, even in the cosmos, of what is now for you to do. What is now for me to do what is now for us to do? And even deeper, what am I supposed to be? What are you supposed to be? What are we supposed to be if we come and work together? What is what we are bringing as a group? What am I bringing as an individual? What are you bringing somewhere else as an individual? And how do we bring our uh, talents together, right? And I think a lot of us, it's becoming important that what we do now is really in tune with ourselves, right? We're in tune with me, in tune with you. So there is no waste of energy, that there is no waste of time. Because it becomes so precious at the moment. Our life is precious. My life is precious. I want to feel really comfortable within my skin, within my body. I don't want to feel any density anymore. I don't want to feel contraction anymore. I want to think clearly. I want to be happy. I desire to be joyful and smile a lot and laugh with people, to do not to be alone too much anymore, secluded. Unless I do go into my thinking phases or I work, then I like to be alone. But right, these are not just my thoughts. I think these are a collective thought at the moment. I want a deep relationship with others. You know, if it's my son, my partner... Uh, my good friends, my parents, my brother, my neighbor, the people I work with. I don't want that they're on the surface anymore. And I'm not saying that this is all it, but these are determinations, choices I'm creating now. And let's put it in a different way. I want intensity, sensuality. I want to feel vigorous. I, I want my body to feel electricized. Luckily, I'm happy uh, that it does happen. I just have to dance, right? Put the right music on or even sometimes without music. I just follow the movements, what my body desires to express. 
Or when you go out for a walk, as I was saying before, when you get these electricities, that magnetism that you play off with nature, the trees, the leaves, the animals around you, or the people you meet that walk right past you. A desire for me is that the whole world, instead of looking down, especially now here, you know, Germany and other cultures, some of the cultures, we look down, we don't look at others and greet them. We pull in. I want that this stops. God, my list is long. I know. <laughs> I could go on for it over and over to really say that this happiness, that this harmony, this balance, seeing each other's beauty, talents, that's what inspires me. That's how I desire to see the world be. And I don't have to worry about it. The animals, they are this way. Just this morning when I, you know, we in Germany, for everyone, we love to get fresh breakfast rolls. And I know, yes, the Germans are harder ones. <laughs> Different to the Americans, I can remember. They said, oh, how can you eat hard rolls? The fresher they are, the more crisp they are. So I came up the little hill I have here, and on the meadows, I saw for the first time a large group of deer. And they were all facing one direction, with their behind toward the sun. And, you know, there's like a little other raised hill where they were all standing. I would say maybe 12 to 15 of them. And they have this white butt. So, you know, it was like, boop, like, a, like lightning or something really light. So that's why I got attracted to it, right? It was not a normal, um, it was not what I expected, right? Every, these white butts. <laughs> it's funny, but, you know, my, my head always gets attracted if there is, even if I'm sitting in the car driving around, if there is a bird, my head gets turned. To, so I acknowledge the bird. I'm, I'm so aware. I would love everyone to be so aware. But this comfort that these deer expressed, that was close to a road, that they were so themselves and felt so comfortable and came together also in a group. That's what I loved. There was a different way of breathing for a second within me. There was this belonging I sensed to this deer. I stopped for a second to take it all in, to take all of this energy, this beauty, this why did it happen right now? Why did I pass this moment? Why am I here to see this? To soak it in, in a way to be part of the moment, of the circumstance, the energy that is being created together in that moment and to be sent out into the world, this joy, also hope. This is, goes all with what is so new, what is being created in this crispiness, as I said. It is this, where are we going to? Uh, that's a question I have. It may be a question that you have. So when I contemplate this question, I do know right away we're going toward magical times. Where we again see each other more intensely where head gets turned, our body gets turned to notice whatever it needs to be seen, what needs to be acknowledged, what needs to be experienced. To recognize the beauty of what exists. And in that moment, right, you recognize what is in within you.
in those moments or also in this moment that I experience, everything falls away. There is this pristineness, this uniqueness of this one moment. And that is what I sense that we are going to experience more and more and more of those mesmerizing moments. So how are we going to get there? How are you going to get there? How am I going to get there? It is to look at myself, to really bring out within me what I am into the world, to not hide it. Yeah, even me. I know I already live many of these things I've I've mentioned at the beginning. But still there's a little bit in me where I have not come out as the being, the cosmic being, the galactic being that I am. Why? It is the safety to feel welcomed was one is one of them. to be fully embraced by others, the people around me, my family, in the tighter and the wider. And the safety, how people respond when I do speak about certain topics. And then, not topics, that's the way I am. So a moment where I keep quiet, in a way, censor myself. For me, it's more of a feeling like, like censoring, very, that's a very structural, very... It's not really this way, it's more a soft way. So I just move slowly back, you know, duck down a little bit, like af- behind a... Uh, tree stem or something, right? But no more. I've dipped my toes now into the water. I'm I'm walking into the water, into the ocean now. Yes, it may be a little cool, <laughs> and I prefer warmer water, but my body also gets used to it gets comfortable. And what can I do so my body gets comfortable in a little cooler water? Maybe moving a little bit more? Right? If you uh, put more energy into your body because the movement is stronger, the action is stronger, you do it maybe for a longer time, the body gets warmer. So then it becomes also more comfortable. It can't be too cold because then if everything pulls together. But there is this fine line of where you nudge yourself forward, where I nudge myself forward. And I think this is now what is needed of all of us. And I bet you have sensed the same. To be more of you, for me to be more of myself. So we create what we all desire. Because there's a reason. Why are we all living right now? Why have we held back until right now? I believe it is because we had to wait for the energies to be as they are now. And we had influence on it. Right, Since we're all born, we did our little bit, but very slowly, very uh, held back a little bit, a little bit, providing, creating the environment where we feel comfortable. But now all these energies from the cosmos, from all other beings and, and star nations and wherever they come from, they're supporting us in this moment as well. So we feel more comfortable right now. So in the next month, nudge yourself if you desire 
to sit back, to reflect, and if you recognize something, to act on it. Gently speak a little more about this, do a little bit more of that, of why are you really here? Your purpose is not what kind of job, but or maybe if you are already doing it, is there something you have not pulled up from under the covers? Now is the time. Because in spring, in a way, I sense, we have to be ready. Many of you who are listening now, you as you listen, you know it already. And here is coming together a community that we can move together forward and not alone, that we don't feel so useless, but we're never ever useless. And you may have not been recognized so much by the outside. You have observed how you are. No, you have observed what you are not showing. That you have experienced, though, as a younger child. And that is what is to be lived again. But not as it was when you were a child, because the times were different. The reception of your acting, of your speaking, because you spoke a lot of the truth. The wisdom that came through, right? There was the phase uh, where no one wanted to listen to what young children say. The time is now, though. Many do listen to the younger children now already, right? Because two-year-olds are channels. You can see it in the television, especially. Small children uh, are celebrated. The way they sing, the way they speak, the way they act, right? Or memorize or thoughts they bring to the world. It has never been so much. So this is also for every other generation that is living now at this moment. It's so much more open. So in a way, you, you, I, we, we can feel more welcomed. So welcome yourself a little bit more. You know, you can do it in little steps. Or bigger steps, whatever you feel comfortable in. Welcome others more. And hold the space for yourself. This is really critical because we've done it. We've been holding space for many others. And many of you who are listening or you are listening is... um, your healers, your artists, your environmentalists, right? Uh, uh, thought leaders. You've put, shed light on others. So now it is also to feel comfortable to show more of yourself, to put more light on yourself. So it's easier for others to see you, radiate out your truth even more. You're like, turn up the volume for your voice, turn up the light, the brilliancy of each of your cells, and then step also into the brighter light. So not so much indoors, like outdoor light, uh, stage light, podcast light, video light, radio light, workshop light, in your companies, if you're more corporate, right? speak your ideas to higher levels than before, take others along, speak to them that, you know, collect groups, become this leader because suddenly as you're holding space for all, they can all open up and practice to voice and educate of how you function 
to others so they can recognize what you are. So you may have also been, like me, a little bit more on the quiet side if you come into a conversation, holding back your knowledge, your wisdom. I invite you, please, not anymore. Why is this so important? I, I think it's because, you know, we're creating hope for others. We're creating hope for ourselves. So I'm creating hope for myself. You're creating hope for yourself. And then this softness, this flow, this gentleness will be soaked up in others. Zing Dunda <laughs> this support, this nudge at the same time that you're not alone, that I'm not alone, that we have so many ancient ones. Here for you, for me, for us. To unfold. In a way because the wisdom has been also hidden. And you have the possibility and you already have found more and more of that wisdom within your culture, within your regional landscapes you're living in. In the meditations and the journeys you go into, right? So you've felt it, you've seen it, you've heard it, you've known it. Now it's your part to be part of it and not to see it as much as an outside source or as not really true, but it is, and to act on it as it is true because it is and you are. This is opening the doors. To create hope. But you know, not hope like people hope where you hope it will happen one day. More of the hope of time is here that we have been waiting for. It's hard to find the right word 
And I hope you understand me what I'm 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 saying. But it is you, me, us living ourselves the way we are as the being we are and have been for millenniums millions of years bringing us to this moment on this beautiful planet earth being the living example where others can synchronize with and collaborate with collaborate collaborate with, design with, play with, paint with, work with, be with, laugh with, dance with, celebrate, celebrate, celebration, create rituals and journeys together. Now we're all a little bit more separate because of COVID, but this times will change. So it is really to be part of what this new change is. And then so the hope is also of the welcoming of the new times that is being created right now and the role you are going to take now, from now on and ever and forever. Ha! Deck to butt, deck, deck, deck! <laughs> So you see, we have so many here for us. And, you know, you can always reach out to me. You can reach out to Moving to Oneness Facebook group. Where you can bring your questions. Ideas, requests, right? Where we can support you and the community can support you. Or you can com support the community and bring your ideas in. This is time now to come together. It was a little deeper <laughs> show today. It is the time now, though, to be who we are, for me to be who I am, and for you to be who you are. So I wish you the most fun with it. <laughs> Enjoy this exploration of yourself. And Invite others to explore the next moment and the next and the next. So everyone, so thank you for listening to the Moving to Oneness show, to listening to my thoughts. I'm Mylene, your host. And a beautiful smile is on my face, knowing that beauty is being created at this moment.